Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to do the initial Windows Server setup and build Active Directory from scratch. The objectives of this video is to set up a Windows Server correctly, install Active Directory domain services and turn the server into a domain controller, verify that Active Directory is working properly, and implement best practices when setting up a server. And here's a prerequisite for this home lab if you want to follow this video. Make sure you have a Windows Server installed. So the first part of this video is the initial Windows Server configuration. This is very important and best practice when setting up a server. And this is really important to do first before installing our Active Directory domain services and promoting our server to a domain controller. So if you haven't renamed your server into a sensible name yet, the first thing that we have to do is to rename our server. If you have already renamed your server, you can skip this part and proceed to the next step. Okay, so there are many ways to rename your Windows computer. So what I usually do is just right click on this PC, go to properties. And you can see in here, there's an advanced system settings in here. You can go to the computer name tab in here and then click on change. And this is where you can change the computer name. So look at this name that Windows gave us. It's a generic, very generic Windows host name, which is really hard to memorize once you've had it set up. It's really important to pick, pick a sensible host name for your servers that corresponds to what their purpose is. For example, you have a file server. You should name it file server 01 or something that's related to that purpose. Or if it's a print server, you should do the same. So this is really hard to remember, especially if you're typing for the server name. You won't remember this server or computer name in here, so we should change it. So since we are doing a file server home lab next, I'm just gonna rename this file file server 01 since we don't have a domain yet workgroup should be fine and just click on ok and just make sure to restart to apply the changes close on this and restart now okay so let's check if the name was applied Control alt insert again and your password a quick way to check is to go to the command prompt type in cmd and then type in host name. In here, it should show you that it changed it to file server one or whatever you named it. So now it's easier to remember the name of the server compared to the generic name that Windows gave us earlier. The next step is configuring Windows updates. This is really important before this server becomes a critical domain controller to ensure that this server is fully patched, stable, and secure. And because updates require multiple reboots, you don't want that to interrupt when you are configuring your domain. So to do the Windows updates, just type in settings and click to open. And at the bottom left, you will see Windows updates and click on that. And you will see a bunch of Windows updates available and just click install all. And just wait for it to download and install everything and to complete its reboot. And after that, we can move on to the next step. So the next step is to enable remote management. This is really important for a server so you can manage the servers without logging into it directly. You can log into it using any computer in the network. And this also mimics real world practice. So to enable remote management, just search for server manager and open it. On the left side, you will see local server and click on it. And usually it's enabled, but just make sure that it's enabled. If not, just click on it and you can check this enable remote management for this server. Okay, so now we are ready to install Active Directory domain services. First step is to open up server manager. And on the top right, click on manage and click on add roles and features. When this window shows up, just click OK and go to manage again and click on add roles and feature one more time. Okay, so this wizard will show up in here. You can click next on this 
and then just make sure that the role base or feature base is selected in here and click on next and then make sure that your server is selected in here and click on next and in here this is where we have to check the active directory domain services and here and then in here you will see what are the different tools that will be installed and just click on add features and then you can click on next in here we can just leave this like this and click on next and keep clicking next in here until you see install so we can now click on install in here and just wait for it to finish installation and it's very important not to close this wizard once you see that it has finished the installation okay so once you see in here that it says installation succeeded on your server make sure not to close this wizard because we have to promote this server to a domain controller and that's the next step so click on this promote the server and then another window will open and in this window click on add a new forest and then this is where you can type in your domain name for your server so since this is a home lab please avoid using actual real domain name so you can do homelab.local just for this home lab's sake for me i'm going to use eCharmer.local and just click on next in here make sure that Windows Server 2025 is selected in here and then this is where you will type in a password make sure to remember this password then click on next we can disregard DNS for now click on next for the domain name you can keep this click on next all right so we can keep the defaults in here for now click on next review everything make sure that the domain name is correct and if you're ready click on next in here okay and then just wait for it if you're seeing any error in the prerequisites you can just click on previous and then click again on next sometimes it takes a minute for things to set up so if you see this all prerequisites checks passed successfully it means that you can now install so you can click install in here to get started and just wait for it to finish you will see this message because the server will just reboot automatically so just click on close okay so after rebooting you will see a sign in here that your server is now a domain controller and you can see your domain name in here and just log in so we can check if the active directory tools were installed let's just close this for now and because we are using windows server 2025 it looks slightly different than the older server os so if you go to start and if you want to check the active directory tools you have to go to all and then at the very bottom click on windows tools in here double click and you will see all the tools so we are looking for active directory users and computers in here group policy management remote desktop connection those are the tools that we are going to use for our home lab so just make sure that they were properly installed so we are done with this lab the next video is creating a windows 11 client joining it to the domain and creating ous and users if you want to follow along please check out this video and thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something and if you have any questions or issues please leave it in the comment section down below